Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Skate from Taco video. In this video I'm going to talk about containers and pretty much how to min-max, uh, getting the most amount of profit and most amount of items out of a raid so therefore you can make as much money on either the flea market or by the vendors and to capitalize on having the best use out of your container. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So first up, there are currently five containers in the game being the Alpha, the Beta, the Gamma, the Epsilon and the Kappa. Uh, the Kappa container, I'll state right now, you can only get the Kappa container from a dev that gives it out to you. Um, I've been told that the, from a dev that I actually got mine from the devs, and so therefore that any myth of it being from either completing all your tasks or from other methods is all a load of shit, and um, that's the only way to get it currently. In the future, you might be watching this video in, in a month or two time, and it might be just be available via Quest, but for the current time whenever i post this video which is uh, about the 4th of feb in 2019 the capra can only be obtained via a dev giving it to you um the next you've got is the alpha which you get from your standard edition game uh, with the alpha container if you have either the standard edition or left behind edition this is what you will start with um, the next container that you can get is the beta container now this container you can actually get from having the per, uh, prepare for escape edition uh, you'll start with it straight out Otherwise, you need to get Peacekeeper level 4 to purchase this container. Now, that requires, I think, about level 29 or 28. Um, it's definitely one of those two levels. And you'll need the Reputation, which means you're going to have to complete some skier tasks, unlock the Peacekeeper storyline, and complete all the um, Peacekeeper tasks enough to get the Reputation up and be level 29. Now, that container is actually a 2x3 container. But the next container is the Epsilon container, which is a 2x4 container. Now, this one is obtained by completing Punisher Part 6, from Purpore, and it is a 2x4. Uh, this container is a really good container for um, anyone who doesn't have Edge of Darkness Edition, which is the final container being a 3x3, which you start with this container if you have a Edge of Darkness account. However, this is, o this is only obtainable via having an Edge of Darkness account. If someone you know has an Edge of Darkness account, they can give you this Gamma container, and they can reset their account at the start of a wipe or a reset, and uh, get another one for themselves but that is really the only option you have for getting a gamma container now to debunk some myths about pay to win and pay for advantages and all that kind of stuff with escape from tarkov um eventually the way the game's going to work is you'll have options to get the bigger containers saying the kappa there's a container called the omicron the container which is meant to be added to the game as well which is going to be a three by three with three single slots on the side being the same size as a kappa container now, these containers um, aren't currently in the game yet for everyone to get, but the way it'll work is you'll either start with like an alpha, beta, or a gamma. You'll be able to work towards getting these. So if you do have a Edge of Darkness, you're paying for a head start. Um, it might be a big advantage when the final wipe happens, when the game goes live, but overall, it's mainly a, a head start, and then eventually you'll everyone else will be able to have these better containers. Now... Uh, it is a considerable advantage to say on a fresh wipe to have a gamma container. Um, I'm not going to lie to say, oh, it's all about the same in the end. The amount of money I save in my gamma container each raid um, by having the bigger container is considerable. And I'm going to go into reasons why very soon. So to cover some tips for the small containers, if you do start off with an alpha container, uh, if you don't have a friend that can give you a gamma container, you can trade via those methods. But if you do start with an alpha or a beta container, you need to be working towards this epsilon as a priority. Um, you get these quests done, get it sorted, and then that way you'll have that extra space. Now, they are a considerable bonus in my opinion. It's 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 not something you have to do, but in my opinion, you want to have those bigger containers. Um, early on, if you can get your hands on a docs case, they're selling pretty cheap on the flea market. I think last time I checked, they're around 300,000 rubles. So they're currently still sitting around 290,000, 300,000 rubles. The reason why Docs Case is a great early on, if you can get your hands on one, um, they hold keys, maps, and then money as well. So if you find money in a raid from a safe or loosely on a map, chuck that in there as well. And also flash drives. Um, I've heard the intelligence also goes inside there. I haven't tested it myself, but flash drives go in there as well. And if you all say on the woods map, you pick up a flash drive, there's one less square you have to worry about uh, inside your container. But any key you find, chuck it in there. It's a really handy one to have. If you are lucky enough to find a key bar early on, it's always great. Uh, if you haven't got the Christmas bonus, uh, you've purchased the game since, I think, I think it was like the 29th or 30th of December. If you purchase it after that date, you won't have the Christmas bonus. But I will show you how to log in and claim that Christmas bonus right now. 
So you just log into your account um, via the top right hand side, it'll say log in up there. And then once you're inside here, you can claim your Christmas bonus. Now you can have this every single um, every single reset that you do or every forced wipe, you'll be able to claim this one. This bonus here, it's an AKS um, 74UB and a pistol and that's because I purchased the book. Um, there's no, I think the book's like $10. I haven't read it myself, I've read about 15 pages. I'm not a big reader, but I will get around to reading the law eventually. But you can claim this bonus every single reset. Now, I want to discuss min-maxing your gamma container. You can buy a WT rig off Ragman um, for 24,000 rubles. It's Ragman level 3, or you can find one in a raid. Now, once you have that um, WT rig, you can chuck it in there, and you've now got 10 squares instead of 9. I personally do not like this at all, and I'll tell you exactly why. Um, if you do want to play this way, you can chuck your dog's tags in there, so you've got your spare dog tags there, uh, your, your key bar fits in there, or if you want to use a dog's case. Then in this last square, you can either grab helmets, or um, one of the options I've actually tr tested out today was actually putting in an ammo case there, and you can loot ammo in the raid, um, particularly labs, and chuck ammo in there. So you unload the mags, you'll chuck the ammo in there. And I did work out, I cleared, I think, about 10 raiders, um, between the M4 ammo, the 7N39 ammo I made, and um, oh, sorry, some of the BP rounds from the 7.62, I made around 350,000 rubles in those four squares. So it actually worked out quite well. Um, this still gives you the option to loot four more items, but this is a personal preference. I think it's uh, it's a bit hit and miss. I, I don't like wasting my time in there unloading mags, and I unloaded, I think, about 200 rounds and gave me about one skill point in mag skills. I'll just quickly show you where my mag skills are sitting. Um, so I'm sitting at level 6. Like one skill point is going to take forever to level. So I don't even really want to worry about leveling that at all. Now the reason why I don't like putting the WT rig in there is, um, and a lot of people do it, the option you have is some people like to do hatchet runs. Now if you go into say the, uh, the marked room and you find a docks case or an ammo, ammo container, right? You now have to take off your WT rig to pick up the ammo case or the docks case to be able to loot it because you need the actual space to loot it and then put it back in. I have seen multiple people die whilst doing this method because they're obviously chucking that in there. They lose that little bit of downtime um, as someone runs up behind them, either caps them with a pistol or um, they get charged down by a geared person. So super risky personally i don't like it the other thing is there's a couple of quests that you require to hand up a wt rig if it is on your person um i know of multiple people that have handed up the wt rig thinking oh it's just chucking uh handing the quest wt rig they've had their key bar in here the docs case or whatever they've got and lost all their keys because it just hands in the rig with everything inside it. Buyers beware. Do it if you want to do it that way. I personally don't think it's worth the fuckery. If you're going to be uh, in a raid and you quickly want to grab some meds, it's an extra double click for me. I don't like that time lost. I like to be able to instantly just right click an item and use it if it's in there. And, you know, that kind of stuff just really is just unattractive for me. I don't like it. So something I tested out today and it worked really well was I actually took in a mag box into labs. Um, I'd be killing stuff in labs, and then I'd literally just run up to the um, to the rig, unload the mag that's on the actual gun, chuck that in there, fill this up. You get, I think it's like one, two, three, four, six. So you got you got 18 mags full. I was getting a lot of these 60 round M4 mags. I'm pretty sure they're selling around 40k a pop, plus the ammo inside it. So that's 50k for two squares. If you fill this up and you get a lot of um, 60 rounders with the uh, the good rounds in it, uh, there's 7N39 ammo. You can absolutely make a killing. The first run I did, I only made about 280,000 or 310,000. And I was just grabbing every mag I ran into and I could pick up. But um, one of the other rounds, the mags, sorry, one of the other games I had, I had, I think it was like seven or eight 60 round M4 mags and then all 60 round mags for uh, the 545. And I made an absolute killing. I was actually really surprised. Just from those six uh, squares, I probably made around 450,000 rubles. Now that's a pretty safe... Uh, return on those six squares and it, it really comes down to how you want to look at it um i, I value at each square being of you know say a bitcoin's worth around a hundred thousand so that square is worth a hundred thousand so you want to try and min max as much as you can out of that this is just a little tip and trick kind of thing you don't have to do it this way but it was actually quite a, a nice way of doing it and because i was running an M, uh, mp5 i had some in my 50 round mp5 mags uh stored away safely 
but I'd have like one to two extra in my rig and then I could just sw- swap them out and that way there was less risk of losing um, those mags which cost around 35000 a pop. So it's like a bit of extra saved money there. Overall, however, when I do do raids, um, I generally just have my key tool and dog tags uh, box in there and then I might have some spare meds. I don't really go over the top taking extra stuff in here. I used to always have my meds hidden in there. But when you think about it, painkills are only worth three or 4,000. An IFAC's probably worth about 12,000 on the flea market. So going crazy putting extra stuff in here uh, when you go into a raid, it's a personal preference up to you guys. But I try and keep as many of these squares free because then that way I can loot items that will pay for that. So when you think about um, your IFAC plus painkillers are worth, what, 15,000 combined. Uh, I'm saying by buying the IFAC with the flea market instead of uh, from therapist you're looking at about fifteen thousand. so if you were to loot just one of these mags in those two squares you've got yourself fifty thousand just for those two squares anyway so i don't see the value overall in trying to always store your meds in there by all means if you've got this the spare room in there definitely have them in there but overall like um if you're going on a raid just leave them up the top quickly find those items and grab and just any items you find at the start even if it's just like i don't know you find a car battery the first item you find is a car battery. It's four, six squares. They're still worth 100,000 rubles. That's got your, your payment for your IFAC and all that that you um, have in there covered. So, guys, I don't want to waffle on it much longer, but just, just to make note, um, get those extra squares on your containers by getting those quests done if you don't have access to them. If you've got a mate that can chuck you a gamma container early and then uh, he can reset his account early in the wipe, always a good, uh, good way to get an extra few squares straight away off the bat and you don't have to spend that money on the edge of darkness. Um, I'm sure there'll be ways of people doing trades. There used to be the unofficial escape from Tarkov Discord and also the trade Reddit. Um, they're very uh, quiet these days, besides probably for the containers. So you've got options out there. Um, but definitely get a docs case early. They're a lot cheaper than a key bar and you can get extra stuff in them. And uh, yeah, maybe try out some of these tips. Give us some feedback if you enjoyed putting a mag case or an ammo case and if it was worth extra money. It does require you to actually kill stuff on uh, labs to have an actual ma- magazine case in there to make some profit, but uh, it comes down to the person. So hopefully this uh, video gave you guys some tips and ideas. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I stream on Twitch six days a week. Go down the link below. Give me a follow over there. If you've got any Tarkov questions, feel free to hit me, hit me up on my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. What about me? It isn't fair. I've had enough and I want my share, can't you see? I don't know the rest of the words, so I'll just leave this right here now. What about me?